In this video, we're going to talk about uh, the loops that you can use in Visual Basic. The two loops that we would, we're going to talk about in this video are the do until loop and the do while loop. The biggest difference between the two is pretty self explanatory in the fact that in the do until loop, uh, code, a certain piece of code can be executed until a certain condition is met, while in the do while loop, a piece of code is executed while a certain condition is being met. So on this form, we have a button that we'll use to execute our code. So the first thing we want to do in our code is initiate a variable that we can use to satisfy our condition. So we'll call the variable num, and we'll set it as an integer, and we'll set it equal to 1. Keep things simple. This loop is example is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to use a message box that pops up on the screen every time the loop cycles through. So when we start to write out the word do, it comes up with the different examples. So the one we want is the do until loop this time. So we go down to do until, and it wants us to add the loop. So we do that. And we still have an error because we have to write in the condition that needs to be satisfied. So for, the, for this, we'll say that our condition to be satisfied is that num equals 5. So now our loop is good. But what we need now is the code that's going to execute every time the loop gets cycled through. So. Like I said before, to keep things simple, we're going to use a message box just to have a visual display of the loop cycle. So we'll write the value of num is, and we'll throw the variable in there. OK, so now when we go through this loop, We're going to have a message box show up. It says the value of num is the first number would be one. What we need here is a way to increase num though, so that the loop will continue to cycle. So what we're going to do is after our message box, we're going to throw num in there and we're going to add one to num. So now if you think about it for a second, we start num off as 1. We begin our loop and say that we want to continue looping until num is equal to 5. So the first time around, num is going to be 1. We show our message box, it'll say 1. We hit OK. And then we add 1 to 1, and we get 2, and we cycle through. So now let's show the code to a Visual Studio. So we'll save our work, and we'll hit debug. Hit the button, and here we go. We have the value of num is 1. We hit OK. Value of num is 2. We hit OK. Value of num is 3. Value of num is 4. Now, even though we have do until num equals 5, we're only going to go up to the value of num is 4. Because what are we saying but do until num equals 5? So we now on the next go round, we will met that condition. So we're not going to execute what the code is that is in the loop. We're going to get out of the loop and we're going to end. So now when we hit OK, we end. So let's step into the code now and we can see a little more detailed version of the code executing step by step. So to do this, we press F8 to go through each line. But first, we have to click the button. It highlights the event handler. Now we have the next line highlighted. That's initiating num as an integer and equal to 1. So when we press F8 again, we can actually go up and put our cursor over num. And we get that num is equal to 1. So now when we hit F8, we enter the loop. And we're on this line now. So once we hit F8 and execute that line, we get our message box. 
sets the value of numbers one. We hit OK and we go down to the next line. So it says value of numbers of one. We hit F8, which means this line will have been executed. So now when we go to num, it says two. So we loop again. We show the message box. Value of numbers two. Loop again. We have three. We have four. And now we're at this line with num equal to five and our condition that we're going to continue looping until num is equal to five. So now when we go like this, we get out of the loop. And we see that what we wanted worked and in a little more detailed version. What we can do now is just to show how things work again. Let's try taking num, adding one to num, and we'll throw it up here this time. Just to show how the loop works, and we'll hit start. And when we hit the button, we start off at two. We start go to three, we go to four, and this time we go to five. Because what are we doing here? But now we're adding. Uh, one to num beforehand. So we're actually able to cycle through the loop and display the value of numbers five. But now we'll end because we added one, we showed the box, we looped, and we're at this point. We're at the uh, do until num equals five point again, and everything ends. So now let's show what the do while loop is like. So the first thing we'll do is change the text in our button to execute do while, just to avoid any confusion. Now we have that. And the first thing we can do here is just type w ile and now we have a do while loop. But if we went and debugged this, nothing happens because there's no way of us getting into the loop here when we're starting off at one and the loop is saying we're only going to do this code right here when num is equal to five. When it's not, nothing's going to happen. So let's show that we change this one to a five. And now we hit debug. We hit execute. Five number six. Of course, this was because we're executing the code since the condition was met here. And the first thing we're doing is adding one. So we hit OK. And we'll let's fix this first and put this back to the way it was so we show what's going on. So for us to cycle through the same way we did before from one, what are we going to have to do? We'll throw a less than sign in there. So now we're saying we're going to do this code while the condition of less than or equal to five is met. And we'll achieve the same situation we had before, but now we're going to show the five message box, the fifth message box, because we're saying less than or equal to. So now when we go in, hit execute to while loop, five numbers one, two, three, four, and we have a five. So now let's step into the code one more time and we'll show how things went. So we hit the button and we cycle through again. We have our message box come up. We loop. We see that num is equal to 2 here. We continue to loop. It actually pops up down here too to tell you every time. OK. 
keep it open. We have three now. We just added a one, so now we're up to four here. We show the message box. Uh, number is four. Now we just executed this line, so it says number is five. So now we loop again and we hit the do while num is less than or equal to five. Num is currently equal to five. So we're going to continue to execute the code, but this will be the last time. Five numbers five. And now when we go up here, value number six. So this makes the condition false. So we end the loop. And then we end the code. These were uh, the do while loop and the do until loop we talked about in this video. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully you check out some of the other videos on our site. Thank you.